In the modern age of machinery, a man's work truck is an extension of his masculinity. Historically, male confidence while driving around was limited to commercially available aftermarket upgrades for they them work trucks, thereby creating a pay-to-play environment. 3D printers, laser engravers, and other readily available machinery have allowed obscure craftsmen to create custom solutions for their problems. There's an old adage, it's not the size of your hammer, it's how you use it. This creator has made an overhead console for their work truck. It has an automatic security door which hides the tablet because they live in California. A custom-made switch panel with a display to control all the exterior work lights and mounted accessories, and gauges to monitor voltage and amp draw of the electrical system. The process begins with taking measurements and visualizing the overall look. The craftsman now begins designing those parts in CAD software. These CAD files will be used for running the 3D printer and laser engraver, but they also help the designer visualize the overall look and quality control with fitment and functionality. Using those designs, the mold-making process begins. After the mold is deemed ready for production, a worker begins fiberglassing. Multiple layers are used, and the mold was previously sprayed with red gel coat to create a hard outside shell once removed. The center console is left alone to cure and the craftsman turns his attention to the other assemblies for the motorized security door, tablet installation, and the accessory switch panel. Multiple pieces need to be designed, printed, and tested for this project to work as intended while holding up to the harsh conditions of a working man. With the visual aid of CAD, this craftsman has been able to stuff a 10-pound sausage inside a 5-pound casing. The door roller mechanism is quite ingenious. Each bar is individually printed in the orientation that gives it strength and dimensional accuracy. The individual bars receive a neoprene spacer, then strung together and tensioned using aircraft-grade cable. This creates a flexible, yet durable tambour door. The inner core is 3D printed and made up of multiple pieces. Once assembled, they provide an integrated track for bearings that were previously installed on the tambour door. The movement is controlled by a simple 12-volt DC motor, two limit switches, and a relay that has been configured to work as a forward or reverse circuit depending on the ignition switch position. Multiple prototypes, fitment issues, and design changes were needed before the final 3D production could begin. The workers do not care about the waste because it's necessary and irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. The 3D printers begin their cycle so the craftsman leaves and turns his attention back to the outer shell. The outer shape is cut down to match the roof line of the work truck and various openings are made for the tablet and switch panels. The marriage of the inner core and the outer shell happens here at the kitchen cook line. Most fitment issues have been resolved in the CAD design process, but this operation still requires a skilled technician as minor adjustments need to be made for the door mechanism to run smooth. On the other side of the apartment, this skilled laborer is wiring up the eight-position switch panel with indicator lamps. Great care is taken with the layout. 3D printed rubberized clips hold everything in place as the roller door comes in close proximity while being actuated. The panel was printed in multiple parts, sanded down to remove layer lines, reassembled, and painted flat black with a matte clear coat for extended protection. The display panel is made by painting one side of an acrylic sheet flat black. After the paint has cured, design data is sent to the homemade laser machine and the pattern is etched in. This machine has been slowed down to show you the process of laser engraving. After this operation, the technician lightly wipes the design with denatured alcohol which removes the area that was engraved. This worker demonstrates this process with a part that was rejected from the assembly line. The final step is to paint the back side white which will diffuse the LED backlighting strips. This craftsman has wired this panel with RGBW light strips. The white channel is wired up as the running backlight and turns on with the dash lights. The red channel will turn on when the switch is activated, as an indicator letting you know that circuit is active. A latching relay system is housed inside the tool compartment of the work truck. 
This latching relay system will allow the operator to control the switch loads from inside the cab or from the tool cabinets where the accessory is located. We were unable to film this area because of subscription clearance and bell notifications. Secure mounting spots are located and 5mm rivet nuts are installed to support the load of the overhead center console. Additional wiring has also been installed from the console all the way back to the relay panel in the toolbox. After everything is installed and tested, this self-employed high school dropout can finally revel in his work truck creation. From a simple switch panel, all the way up to this center console masterpiece, customization is something most men can't live without. Next, how did Area 51 back-engineer alien anti-gravity technology for use against its own citizens?